For years, Linux Mint has owned the desktop. Fast, reliable, rock solid. But lately, something new has been catching my eye. Sleeker, faster, and maybe the first distro that could actually dethrone Mint. This is Cache OS. Okay, look, I've always said Linux Mint just works. It's been the most reliable, everyday Linux distro for users for years. You install it, everything works, and you move on with your life. But recently, I started testing a distro that everybody's calling the Linux Mint Killer. And honestly, after a few days of using it, I can kind of get why. This thing is ridiculously fast. Boot times, app launches, package updates, everything just snaps. It feels lighter than Mint and even cleaner out of the box. What's wild is it's based on Arch, but they've somehow managed to make it as smooth and beginner friendly as Linux Mint. And that's not usually something you could say about Arch anything. So today I'm gonna walk you through a Cache OS install, show you how it actually performs, and we'll see if it really deserves the Linux Mint killer title. Let's jump in. All right, first we're gonna head to the Cache OS website to download the ISO file. Then we're gonna click on Download Desktop Edition and the Direct Download, which will download the ISO file. I already have downloaded the ISO file, so I'm not going to download it again. We're gonna be opening this up in a virtual machine. We're gonna spin up the virtual machine here, browse for the ISO file, it's the Cache ISO. Here it's not going to auto detect, so we're going to go ahead and name it. It's not going to recognize Cache, so we're just going to call it Generic Linux. Going to give it 8 gigabytes of RAM and 4 CPU cores and leave it at 25 gigabytes of storage. Looks good, hit finish, and it will start to load up. Here you're gonna hit yes or enter. Make it full screen, and this is the Cache installer. I'm gonna go ahead and hit launch installer here, and we're gonna jump into the Cache OS install. It says I'm using an older version of Cache OS, but I just hit okay here, and it typically works out just fine. I'm gonna choose Grub. You may see other options on your end. Mileage may vary. I will choose Grub. It works for me in this virtual machine on my laptop, which you saw earlier. I chose System D, and it also worked just fine. I'm gonna choose American English. Time zone, I am in the Los Angeles Pacific time zone. Here we'll choose the keyboard layout. It's gonna be default US. And then I'm gonna go erase disk because I'll be using the entire virtual machine. And this is where I choose the Plasma, KDE Plasma desktop, which is what I'm choosing. You can choose a different desktop if you like. Here we have additional packages you can choose from. I am not going to install any additional packages in this menu but I will later via the terminal so after you're done with this screen go ahead and click next this is where you're gonna put your login info and after a lot of this screen you'll get to this failed message you can disregard that failed message it's not gonna mean anything has gone wrong and just let Cache OS install. All right, here we are. Click OK on Cache OS Linux. I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen. And here we are, beautiful splash screen animation. And this is the desktop. Cache OS, here we go. So you'll come right into this welcome screen. I just cancel it. I don't like it to open every time. And usually I like to go ahead and mess with my wallpaper and display settings right away. Usually in the virtual machine, it doesn't have my monitor size or resolution correct. So I'm just gonna right click on the desktop and it will bring you to these screens. I'm gonna change my resolution here. 2048 by 1152. Go ahead and keep that. Cancel out of there. And 
And then we're gonna go ahead and open up a terminal. Let's see what this one comes with. It looks like it comes with Alacrity standard, which is pretty cool, really nice terminal. Already transparent, that's nice, I didn't have to do that. And you can see we're running the Linux kernel 6.18.1. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's the latest Linux kernel or very close to the latest Linux kernel. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of there. And it also comes with the, I believe, GNU terminal, the console. And normally I like to get started by changing some of the key bindings. I'm not going to change them all, but I'll show you how to do that here in the shortcuts menu. You can just click on the little start or menu and go to shortcuts. I like to have the terminal open up on the super plus enter key. And you can of course change that to whatever you want it to be. there we go super enter brings up the terminal and there's a lot of options in here you can see the window management I tend to change a lot of these as I go along I don't leave any of these pretty much as their defaults at least not in KDE plasma hyperland is a little closer to the ones I use and then we're gonna go ahead and change the themes so Cache OS has some pretty good themes here I like to keep it on breeze and for my login screen, I like the Cache OS Emerald for my style. See, it makes things transparent. It's pretty cool looking. And then you can play around in here, change the application styles. You can change the highlight colors. I like to let it just use the color from the theme. You've got your window decorations. You've got your icons, your cursors. You can change them all up. And if you go on the upper right hand corner, there's usually an area where you can add more to. There's a little get new up there. You can add a bunch. There's some user created ones. Of course, use at your own risk. And then I'll change the splash screen here. A lot of customization options in Cache OS. Change the animations. There's some pretty cool animations as well. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install Steam to see if we can run some games on Cache OS. Now I'm not passing through my GPU, so this is just gonna be all in the virtual machine here. All right, so Steam is installed and Stardew Valley is starting up. It looks like it's running a little bit slow, but it's only using four cores of my CPU. And this is inside a virtual machine, so you can't expect the best. All right, here we go, it's loaded up and it looks like it's running pretty good, smooth for what it's worth. Yeah, a little choppy on the graphics, but that's to be expected. So that runs pretty good. Of course, mileage may vary on your own machine. That may run a little bit better. Hopefully it does run better. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the Discord. Let's see if this will come up. And of course we're using Pac-Man because this is an arched base. This is an arch based distro. Discord's loaded up. It's going to want to have me log in. I'm not going to do that right now. All right, then we're going to check out the Cache OS wiki. Open up Firefox here. Didn't have to go to Google. So we're going to go to Cache OS wiki. Just search for it. First one pops up. Great resource for troubleshooting, installing um, FAQs on Cache OS. It's actually. It's actually a great place to start out if you are installing Cache OS and you have a separate computer that you could look at this on. A great resource for any problems you might encounter while installing Cache OS and the things you need to install Cache OS. So we're going to check out some of the applications that it comes with here. Some graphics viewers. It has some web applications, some multimedia players. 
Also has, of course, the Alacrity Terminal and a lot of apps it comes with. And then here we're going to open up a terminal real quick, install Kitty, even though I'm really liking how Alacrity looks on this. I tend to use Kitty and then just customize it a little bit more, make it transparent. And now we can configure some of the desktop settings here, change the panel. So after spending some real time with Cache OS, I can honestly say, yeah, the Linux Mint killer is a thing, not just clickbait. It's fast, polished, and way more responsive than I expected from a new Linux distro. That said, Mint is still the king of stability and simplicity. Cache OS is the daring newcomer. Smoother, fresher, and definitely more performance-based. It's kind of amazing to see how far Linux distros have come. If you're someone that likes speed and doesn't mind something a little bit different, Cache OS might be worth a spin. But if you want everything to just work out of the box, Mint is still a safe bet. Either way, I'm excited to see where Cache OS goes from here. It's got tons of potential. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, drop a like, share it with another Linux fan, and subscribe for more deep dives and distro tests. I've got some wild ones coming up next. Check out my last video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.